YouTube, what's going on? Um, I know it's been a while since I made a video, so I uh, decided I would come back to you guys this time with a different type of deck. You guys, you know, usually know me as a psychic player, and I haven't put them down. They're still my main deck. This is a fun deck, Gym Knights. Gym Knights are extremely fast, extremely powerful, and I'm showing you my version of it. Hopefully, you guys can help me out a little bit. Don't have rabbit, so until then, it's it's still you know just casual. But anyway, on to the monsters. Three Gym Knight Armadillo or Gym Gym Armadillo. When you normal summon it, you add any Gym Knight monster from your deck in hand. It's a strat host. Only when you normal summon it though. Extremely powerful card. You run three of level four, so you can make an ex a rank four. Next, three Gym Knight Alexandrite. Right now, the best Gym Knight monster in the main deck. Um, next set, when we get Obsidian, he's going to be number two. But uh, when he's on the field, you tribute him. You special summon any Gym Knight, any normal Gym Knight monster from your deck. Um, I'll, I'll go over some combos later on with it. Then the last effect monster that I run is Gym Turtle. When it's flipped face up, you add Gym Knight Fusion to your hand. The best card in the deck is Gym Knight Fusion to me in my build, so that's like, that's extremely important. Gym Knight Crystal, I run two of them, level 7, 24, 50 beater. Um, he's a rock, so next uh, dual terminal. When we get Gym Knight Zirconia, or whenever we do end up getting him, he'll be a fusion material for him. But right now, he's just, he's a big beater until your opponent gets bigger than him, and then you just start making your fusions. But he's usually turn three because I'll normal summon Armadillo, get uh, Alexandrite, then normal summon Alexandrite, and tribute tribute off for Crystal. That's usually how it goes. Then three Gym Knight Garnet, uh, Pyro Monster. He is the second beater of the deck. Nineteen hundred attack, zero defense. Um, basically, if you don't have him in the deck. Then you go get Garnet if you just want to beat over stuff. Uh, he's used for Ruby, which is the powerhouse fusion, but we'll go over that later. Three Gym Knight Tourmaline. Uh, his effect, well, he doesn't have an effect. 1600 attack, 1800 defense. He makes uh, all the Thunder, Thunder Gym Knights. Personal preference, uh, the Thunder Gym Knight fusions are the best ones to me. Uh, so, he's one of my favorite normal monsters in the deck, but, you know, to each his own. And then, the wall of the deck, I run two Gym Knight Sapphire, uh, zero attack, 21 defense, is great to set first turn, um, and it also makes Aquamarine, which is a very nice combo card in the deck. So, that's it for the monsters. On to the spells, like I said, the best card in the deck. Gym Knight Fusion. Uh, it's polymerization. You send from your hand or your field uh, any material sent for a Gym Knight Fusion and special summon a Gym Knight Fusion. It's a fusion summon. Then, while it's in the graveyard, you can remove a Gym Knight monster from your graveyard from play to add it back to your hand. The way that I run the build, it combos so much. It's ridiculous. And I will go over some of those combos later on. Next, uh, one future fusion. Uh, just get your materials in the graveyard. Usually, I'll send uh, tourmaline and then either alexandrite or sapphire. It really just depends on what I have in my hand, and I'll go over that in a second as well. Double pot of duality, just to get the gym knight fusion. Really, uh, as you can probably tell at this point, gym knights are all about special summoning. So. Pod duality can get in the way, but if you don't have Gym Knight Fusion in your hand, then, you know, personally, I feel like the deck uh, is just a muscle battle, and usually your opponent can get over 2450, so you need Gym Knight Fusion. Double DDR. Um, anytime I remove a Gym Knight from play for Gym Knight Fusion, I have a target for DDR. A lot of the times, what I'll do is I'll remove a Gym Knight Alexandrite from my, from my graveyard, add Gym Knight Fusion to my hand. Then after that, I'll activate DDR, just send out that Gym Knight Fusion I just removed, or I just got back to my hand to get the Alexandrite I just removed. I'll go over 
more combos but that's something that you can see right there double burden because like I said this deck uh, right now is all about muscling out your opponent until you get to gym night fusion and burden helps then heavy dark hole and monster born round out the spells onto the traps double call um, makes Alexandrite that much better double regeki break instead of MST um, you're always gonna have gym night fusion in your hand when you do get it and then it also gets rid of crystal when you draw them because that's a two tribute monster that you cannot tribute for double D prison and double call I mean double comp for um, for some protection then I run double common charity right now that's just to speed up the deck uh, if I ever get to rescue rabbits that's what this card will be but uh, if not then this will be gym night obsidian um, when it comes out and then return from a different dimension as you can see this deck is well my version anyways is very out of play oriented and I'll go over that soon my favorite fusion I run three gym night prismar um, it's effect discard one gym night card from your hand once per turn to destroy one face up card your opponent controls that's it and uh, it must first be fusion summoned from the extra deck that's all its requirements are next the powerhouse of the deck uh, Gym Knight Ruby, I run three of them. One Pyro Monster and one Gym Knight. Or, excuse me, one Gym Knight Garnet and one Gym Knight Monster. Uh, tribute one Gym Knight Monster you control. One Gym Monster you control, it gains attack equal to that. And then if you um, if you attack a face down defense position monster, it pierces. So, it's pretty cool and it can get pretty big. Uh, then I run two Gym Knight, Tormo, um, Gym Knight Topaz, excuse me. Uh, it takes Gem Knight Tourmaline and a Gem Knight Monster, 1800 attack, 1800 defense. And it's a double attacker. So they have a, they have a monster weaker than 1800 on the field. You attack. Its other effect is your opponent takes damage equal to that monster's attack. So if it's in attack position, they take all 18. If it's in defense position, they take their monster's attack. And then it can attack again. Um, it's the quickest way to win the game. And this deck is to get him out with other fusions, clear the way, and then swing with him. Next, uh, Gem Knight Aquamarine. Um, because I run the two Sapphires, I run two of her right now. Um, it's probably going to be less, but right now it's two. 1400 attack, 2600 defense. When it attacks, it goes into defense position. Great uh, effect right there. Defense is huge, can't get rid of. And then when it does leave the field to go to the graveyard, you return one card your opponent controls back to their hand. It's kind of nice. It gets rid of some of the um, opponents, you know, problem monsters or other things. Like I said, I'm going to make another video because this is going on eight minutes. I'm going to make another video to explain a lot of the combos that I use in this deck personally. But um, this is one of the best combos that I can do. And I'll go over that next. Next, uh, last fusion that I run is one Gem Knight Citrine. It takes one Pyro Monster and one Gem Knight Monster. Uh, when it attacks, your opponent cannot activate spell or trap cards. That's that's it. But um, until the end of damage step, 2200 attack, 1950 defense. If they, you know, pod duality, you know, they have Mirror Force on the field, make this guy attack for 22. I mean... That's the, that's the best you know combo that he can do. And then uh, number 39 Utopia rounds out the deck. Um, I would run two more of these until we get all of the amazing rank fours that come out in the next dual terminal. But until then, uh, Utopia is a must in the deck. And when I get another one, he's going in here too. But uh, this is the Gym Knight deck right here. I'm going to have another video post it up right after this one explaining a bunch of the combos of the deck so stay tuned